So we've been reporting on the out and out corruption and the bribery that's going on with the Biden family from foreign governments. So now there's a whistleblower. There's a video, a whistleblower. So whistleblower on the run in Biden corruption case says he's being hunted by the FBI after he exposed payments by Chinese firm to Hunter Biden and his family. Well, that did happen. He did expose that and he is on the run and here he is. So let's listen to him now. My name is Dr. Gal Luft. For the past 20 years, I have been the co-director of the Institute for the Analysis of Global Security, a Washington-based think tank focused on energy security. For the past 15 years, I've been a resident of Israel. And for four years, I was senior advisor to the China energy company CFC, at the same time of its dealings with the Biden family. So this guy would know if the CVC, that company, that Chinese company, bribed the Bidens. He would know. This guy seems like he would know. And? Under normal circumstances, I would be testifying before Congress about my experience with CFC. Sadly, due to circumstances I shall describe here in this video, uh, I am forced to tell you the story via video. My ordeal goes back to uh, a fatal decision I made in March of 2019 to share with the U.S. government my knowledge about the Biden family's relations with CFC. As I said, it was in March of 2019 in a two-day uh, session at the U.S. Embassy in Brussels. I insisted that the meeting take place in March because at the time there were rumors that Joe Biden was planning to run for president. I saw it as my civic duty to alert the government beforehand and give it enough time to probe the issue. I want to be clear. I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I have no political motive or agenda. I did it out of deep concern that if the Bidens were to come to power, the country would be facing the same traumatic Russia collusion scandal, only this time with China. Sadly, because of the DOJ's uh, cover-up, this is exactly what happened. The DOJ sent to Brussels a delegation of six uh, people, two prosecutors from the Southern District of New York, by the names of Daniel Reichenthal and Catherine Ghosh, and four FBI agents. One of them was Special Agent Joshua Wilson from the Baltimore Field Office, which also happens to cover the state of Delaware. Now, you want to ask yourself, why did the government... The state of Delaware, why is that important, Joe Biden? Dispatch to Europe so many people. Why six? Why not two? The answer is that they knew very well that I'm a credible uh, witness and that I have insider knowledge about the group and the individuals that enrich the Biden family. Over an intensive two-day two meeting, um, I shared my information about the Biden family's financial transactions with CFC, including specific dollar figures. I also provided the name of Rob Walker, who later became known as Hunter Biden's bagman. Uh, yet, as we now know today from the whistleblower testimony, uh, Gary Shapley, it took the DOJ a whole 21 months to probe the issue and to actually talk to Walker. But perhaps the most alarming information I revealed was of a mole within the DOJ who shared classified information with Hunter Biden and his Chinese partners. So he's saying that there was a mole inside the Department of Justice that gave heads up to Hunter and the Bidens about anything that uh, any information of the inf investigation or stuff they had to look out for. That's what he's saying. They had inside information of what the FBI knew. I told the DOJ that Hunter was closely associated with a very senior retire, retired FBI official who had distinct physical characteristic. He had one eye. One of the FBI agents at the time even told me, you know, that would be very easy for us to find. There aren't that many one-eyed people in the Bureau. The information I provided the FBI in March of 2019 was fully corroborated nine months later when the famous laptop belonging to Hunter Biden, which contained all the emails and receipts, was handed to the FBI. And guess who seized the laptop from the computer repair shop? It was Special Agent Joshua Wilson, who was with me in Brussels earlier. In other words, the FBI knew about, uh, from me, about the Biden CFC deals before they got hold of the laptop, way before. 
They had enough time to investigate the issue, but they didn't. So there you go. And now this guy's on the run because he told the truth about somebody the establishment needs right now, which is Joe Biden. So they need Joe Biden to do their proxy war with Ukraine, to saber rattle with China. They need Joe Biden to do that. They needed Joe Biden to sell lockdowns and vaccines. They needed that. So they, they need him. The establishment doesn't want to hear from this guy. And they're certainly not going to investigate Joe Biden's kid. So this guy, his name is Mr. Luft. He's 57. He's on the run following his arrest at Cyprus on the charges of international arms trafficking and an alleged violation of the Foreign Agents Registration Act. That's what they got Trump's campaign manager on. But he did, even though nobody does this, they, they use this selectively. This, they go after their political enemies with the Foreign Agents Registration Act. He denies those charges, of course he does, calling them retaliatory acts by President Biden for having cooperated in an investigation of his son, Hunter. Following his widely publicized arrest, which occurred just before Mr. Lutt was to board a regular commercial flight back to Israel, he said in a tweet that the Department of Justice is trying to bury me to protect Joe, Jim, which is Joe's brother, and Hunter Biden. Shall I name names? In late March, Cyprus police reported that the former Israeli lieutenant colonel and respected energy issue expert, issues expert had gone missing. Mr. Luff suggests that he believes the whole affair to be politically motivated and that the reason he jumped bail at Cyprus in April was that, in his view, he would not be able to receive a fair trial in the New York court where he extradited, where he extradited to the United States. From what, wherever Mr. Luft is... He did not hold back, maintaining that the reason he was arrested in Cyprus is that it was part of a plan by the Biden administration to keep him from testifying to the House Oversight Committee about payments said to have been made to members of the president's family by an energy company called CFC, CEFC, that was run by the communist China. So do you see how this happened? So they're like, oh, let's just get this guy arrested in Cyprus, one of our puppet governments. In March 2019, Mr. Luff met with, he just told you that, he met with four FBI officials and two Department of Justice prosecutors at the American Embassy at Brussels to provide information that CEFC was paying $100,000 a month to Hunter Biden. What's more, they were paying $65,000 to his uncle, Jim. In exchange for their FBI connections, and use of the Biden name to promote China's Belt and Road Initiative around the world. So he's getting 100 grand from the Chinese. They're getting 80 grand from the Ukrainians. They're doing pretty good. According to Mr. Luff, the Department of Justice dispatched six individuals to meet with him in Belgium. He told you the story. He told you the story. At Brussels, blah, 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 blah. Right. Mr. Love claimed that everything he told the American officials was corroborated nine months later. Yep. In the new video message, Mr. Love accused the Department of Justice of a cover up and said that I, who volunteered to inform the U.S. government about a potential security breach and about compromising information about a man vying to be the next president, am now being hunted by the very same people who I informed and may have to live on the run for the rest of my life. He added, I warned the government about potential risk to the integrity of the 2020 election. Ask yourself, who is the real criminal in this story? Colin Rugg says, Biden corruption whistleblower Gail Luft, who recently went into hiding in fear for his life, reveals how a mole inside the FBI was tipping off Hunter Biden and his Chinese business partners. Luff came to the Department of Justice to alert them of potential crimes being committed by the Biden family. However, Instead of looking into deeper into the matter, the Department of Justice worked to cover up Luff's allegations. Isn't it funny how the Department of Justice will search in every crevice for a crime against Trump, but won't look at evidence into the Bidens, even if they're slapped in the face with it? Uh, Miranda Devine says, here is the letter that Jeffrey Berman, then the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, sent to Gail Luff to set up the Brussels meeting. Okay, 
By now, you have certainly seen the video of him claiming the evidence of Biden corruption, according to conservatives. Like, So this is to let you know that that's real. They did have that meeting. They did go to Brussels to meet him and hear what he had to say. Um, here's, what, here's who Gail Luft really is. This is from this Democratic Party hack. He says he's an Israeli professor. Gail Luft was arrested on the Interpol issued warrant on suspicion of weapons trafficking between China and the UAE and Libya between 2015 and 2023. Okay. Luft is further suspected of conspiracy to commit serious felonies as well as making false statements. Oh, boy. He was arrested in February in Cyprus. Luft is alive but living as a fugitive in a secret location, skipping bail in Cyprus. Uh, this guy says, uh, he told us all that. Uh, he told us all that, Ed, meaning the guy in the video I just played you, he told us everything. But now you have certainly seen the video. He told us everything. So the person, this person's point is that Luft already explained all that in the video. He then calls Brian Krasenstein Ed. That's why he's calling him Ed as a joke because Brian and Ed Krasenstein are twin brothers who post the same kind of bro, <laughs> pro-Democrat bullshit all the time. So there you go. There's a... We've been reporting on this. The House Oversight Committee knows about Joe Biden's and Hunter Biden's corruption. Millions of dollars that they got from China and Ukraine. And nobody wants to investigate it. Just why? Just for the same reason that Barack Obama didn't investigate anybody who ordered a torture program. Because they all work for the same people. And the people who ordered that torture program, Dick Cheney, Joe Biden... Condoleezza Rice, they all work for the establishment. The establishment wanted them to do 9 11, wanted them to do Iraq. They wanted them to do Libya. They wanted them to crush, uh, they wanted them to privatize Social Security. Do you see what I'm saying? They work for the establishment. So when Barack Obama became president, he worked for the exact same establishment. He got more money from Wall Street than John McCain did. He worked for them. His entire cabinet came from an email from Citigroup. So Barack Obama wasn't going to prosecute the people. They're on the same team. George Bush and Barack Obama were on the same team. And so that's the exact thing ha happening here. They're not going to pro the FBI is not going to prosecute Hunter Biden or Joe Biden. They're on the same team. They work for Wall Street. They work for Big Pharma. They work for the military industrial complex. That's and that's that. Those people don't get prosecuted. Hey, come see us on tour. We'll be in Baltimore, San Francisco, Huntington Beach, Rosemont, and Chicago, Las Vegas, Salt Lake City, New York City, Pottstown, Pennsylvania, Stamford, Connecticut, and more, and St. Louis. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for all our tickets for all our shows.